Alrighty, so we're done with the very first dungeon of the game. Well, not the very first dungeon. The very first dungeon of the Dark World. Alright, so let's get out of here. God, why does everything hit like a truck in this world? You have to heal already. house used to be, but now it's a bomb shop. Don't know really if need to buy bombs, though. What is interesting, though, is in this exact same spot in the Dark World, there's another fairy fountain. Now this tree can talk to us, but he doesn't really want to talk. I heard that using bombs is the best way to defeat the one-eyed giants. Okay, thank you. So let's head this way. This leads us up onto a cliff where there's another heart piece. Yay! Oh, darn it. I didn't actually mean to jump off the ledge there. Well, there's another portal nearby. Because they're kind of like like likes, they'll eat your shield if you let them. I 
once lived in the Lost Woods until the day I wandered into a magical transporter. The power of the Dark World quickly turned me into this tree shape. I guess the two forts are connected with each other. I guess? Anyway, let's head north next. Hey there. After wandering into this world, I was changed into this shape. Back in my world, I played my beloved flute every day and night. There was a small grove there where the animals would gather when I played. Before I came here, I buried my flute there along with some flower seeds. Sure, I'll find it for you. you borrowed a shovel. You can dig in many places. Do you dig? Yeah, I dig. So you can see what it used to look like right there. Oh man. I'm, I guess I'm just gonna have to move. Because I keep getting stuck here and warping back to the dark world. Alright, let's warp here then. Flute should be buried around here somewhere. Yep, there it is. Here's the flute. Its mu music surely has some mysterious power. I can go ahead and give this back to him. Thank you, Link, but it looks like I can't play my flute anymore. Please take it. If by chance you go to the village I lived in, please give it to a tired old man you will find there. My mind is getting hazy. Please let me hear the sound of the flute one last time. You got it, dude. gone. He turned into a tree. So I guess he's dead now. <laughs> ah, this looks like a shooting gallery. Don't really want to bother with that, though. I believe we can play a, a digging minigame, which can yield some good results, if we're lucky. Welcome to the treasure field. The object is to dig as many holes as you can in 30 seconds. Any treasures you dig up will be yours to keep. I want to dig. Now this may take it a couple tries to get the heart piece, because it is completely random, I think. Might have to bear with me while I try this a couple times. Try and get that heart piece. Mm -hmm. 
Ah, there's a piece of heart. That's what I wanted. Looks like we made a nice bit of profit from this game as well. Sweet. Let's return to the, to the light world. You'll also notice that some of the enemies in the areas have been upgraded as well. Here in the light world, I mean. Since we're here in Kakariko... This area right here is the home of the Smithy Brothers. Didn't come here previously because there really wasn't much point to. Amateurs shouldn't try to do this. You're just getting in the way. Well, I'm trying to talk to you. If my lost partner returns, he can temp we can temper your sword, but right now I can't do anything for you. Definitely remember this place, because we're going to have to try and find this guy's brother to temper our sword. Let's drop down here. Ah, oh, we can't do this yet. That's right. I need magic powder. Powder yet. Oh. Oh, no. First, we're gonna head to the pub. We're gonna play the flute for the kid's old man. This is my son's flute. Have you seen my son? No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, he's dead. Can play it for the for me. It would make my son so happy. I just wish I could have seen him one more time. Poor old man. Now is head to the center of town where this wind vane is and play the flute. Then suddenly, the wind vane turns into an actual bird. Now, whenever you play the uh, the flute or the ocarina from now on, you can this bird will pick you up and you can fly to certain points on the world map, which is definitely cool. And we'll use him in just a moment. Let's return to the lumberjack house because now we should be able to interact with that tree that they were trying to cut down. tree stump. Oh yeah, 
yeah, that reminds me, I need to restock on fairies as well. That also got us another piece of heart. Because now, that mushroom that we gave her has turned into magic powder. Try sprinkling it on enemies and many other things. Magic powder is most infamous for using it on these green buzzy things. Tra la la, look for Sah Sahasra la. They're weird. <laughs> right, we're gonna go back to Kakariko now. So now that we have the magic powder, we can uh, interact with that cave we passed by earlier. Or that we went into earlier, I should say. Really tired of these bombs. All right, so let's try this again. Let's equip the magic powder. And we're gonna sprinkle it onto this pedestal or podium. Hello there. Hey, blast you for waking me from my deep, dark sleep. I mean, thanks a lot. But now I'll get my revenge on you. Get ready for it, if that's okay with you. I laugh at your misfortune. Now your magic power will drop by one half. Congratulations. Now do your best, even though I'm sure it won't be enough. Have a nice day! What a weirdo. Couldn't tell if he was trying to help us or hinder us. But at any rate, we now can use our, our MP at half the cost it usually would. Kind of reminds me of the, the curse chest from Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. Where it's supposed to be a curse, but it's still helping you. Alright, let me see here. I think at this point we should be returning to the Dark World. and we have two fairies for our two empty bottles. Let's head over to Lake Hylia. Or the Dark World equivalent of Lake Hylia, anyway. If you use the magic mirror right here, another piece of heart, and we now have another full heart container as well. Right, now 
I need to get back onto dry land. Oops. Need a path back up onto the to land, please. have to do. one more heart piece that we can get at the moment. I think we're kind of landlocked. Because there's a ledge blocking us over that way. I'll check it out real quick just to make sure, but I'm pretty sure from this angle we can't get to where Kakriko Village would be in the light world. I'll double check to make sure. Basically, no, we can't reach it just yet. Oh well. Let me just check the checklist. but there's something. Let's climb back up here again, because now we have the Master Sword. We should be able to get another spell. Ooh, there's tectites up here now. sword. We just got the magic of ether. Its magic controls the upper atmosphere and polar wind. Watch your magic meter. We can also get the third and final spell as well.
What's over here? Oh, nothing interesting. get the third and final spell before we enter the second dungeon of the Dark World. So we're going to use our magic mirror right here. the master story you will get the magic of bombos <laughs> bye bye buzzard this is the bombos medallion its magic makes the ground explode with power so yes we now have all three of the magic spells Shield blocked it somehow, even though I was in the water. It would just let me throw a hundred already. Ooh, she gave me ten bombs that time instead of just five. That was nice of her. Increase our arrow capacity one more time, and I think that'll be good for now. I 
didn't really see what she said there. I was kind of rushing through it. Okay, so she can still increase my arrow capacity. That's interesting. Alright, back at full health. Alright, we've pretty much reached the limit of stuff we can do on the overworld. In both worlds now. Dark world once more, and we're gonna enter the second dungeon. And it's located just to the south of us here. Now you might remember this cave from earlier in the game. When we were here in the light world, we drained the water and that got us a heart piece. Well, we got because that's what opens up the second the second dungeon, the swamp palace. Alright guys, so I think this is gonna be a good stopping point for today. So when you join me next time, we'll be taking on the second dungeon of the Dark World, the Swamp Palace. So I'll see you then guys.